So it's September 23rd, um, 65 degrees. It is 11 a.m. and uh, the experiment continues at Burnley Farm Apiary. Um, doing the best we can. I think everybody's doing pretty good. Let me show you around. So these are nukes that are going to get ready for next spring and the boxes in the back are all ready for next spring swarms and number two is empty right now but number one, number three, number four and number five all have bees. See some bees coming out of that one and coming out of that one, coming out of that one and coming out of this one. Just not when I want them to come out, that's all. So we're going to open them up. We're going to take a look inside. Um, I've got some feeders. There they are. There's a couple. So I've got I've got some uh, feeders that go on the inside, and I'm going to put them in the four boxes. Um, the ratio of water to sugar is about 1.5 to 1. So more sugar ratio than water right now. Um, I haven't fed them up to this point. Um, let's see. Well, no, that's not true. All right, on hive number one, I did put some in there for a while because I I did a combine and uh, so I stuck one in there and they drank it up pretty good. But that was that was a month ago. So this is the one number one's the one that looks like it's not as strong as the other three. Of course, I haven't been in them for weeks now. Get tied up pretty well with my uh, my Boy Scouts. Um, but we're going to go into them right now and we're going to take a quick look at everything and we're going to put the feeders on. So let's get to it. Alright, sit this right here. Hopefully it won't fall. That would be bad. Let's see. I think that's good. So I'll talk loud enough that hopefully everybody can hear me. So we're going to go in here real fast. I'm going to take a quick peek. help if I had my hive tool with me. So let's take a quick peek inside of here and see how things are going. Set that right there. All right. So the temperature is not too bad. Take a quick look. Make sure the queen's not sitting up on top. I don't see her. Looks good. I um, I did put these uh, food patties in. Um, let's see here. About two weeks ago, I guess. It looks like they're they're gnawing on them. They're feeding on them. Okay. So that's a good thing. Let's get straight down to the second to the lower box. I'm gonna take a look at it first. So we'll bring these girls down here. Now, they're not happy with being touched. I don't blame them. It's a little cool. Take a quick peek inside. So I've got some fellow beekeepers that we've been talking to and um, um, suggestion right now is to get to feeding them because it's it is September, and it's actually my birthday, and this is what I'm doing today. So, all fun and games. So you can see these lower boxes, there's nothing. There's Nothing's even been drawn out on them, or these lower frames, I mean. Nothing's even been drawn out on them, but that's because some of it's up here, I believe. But So I'm going to go ahead and take one of these feeders. And I'm going to put it on the, oh, be careful now, I don't want to spill this stuff. And I'm going to put it on the inside here. That way they can have some food to draw off of. Because there's really not a lot of nectar coming in at the moment. So I'll leave a little room on the back side. Some room up front. I'm just going to take a quick peek. So they're pulling comb with this uh, 
with the new nectar that's in there I mean with the uh, the sugar water that's in there um, it's got some uh, honeybee healthy or one of those other products I know girls I know so they're drawing so this will help them start drawing it out a lot faster as you can see up inside here they've got they've got some honey but I need them to start pulling in a lot more so that I know that they're going to be good going into winter because it's we've had so much rain we've had so much rain this year it's uh, I'm, I'm worried that we're gonna have a really hard winter and I want to make sure that my girls can get through it okay so there's lots of uncapped honey and there's a little bit of capped honey but all this we're starting to fill in I don't see any brood there yet and but there's some closed brood here last time when I was in this hive <laughs> uh, I had just gone through everything and I and I got down close to this one no stings no nothing everything was doing good and I got down to the very bottom and I stuck my face close to it so I can get a look and it pressed my screen up against my face well it was right then that somebody came out and decided that they were going to sting me got me right on the nose I look like Carl Malden for a couple of days my kids thought it was funny let's see here so you can see that there's there's brood inside so I've got a queen got a queen I can't my eyes aren't good enough to see if there's any eggs without me putting the glasses on but I can see that there's all different sizes of brood inside some of them are capped so I've got a queen she's doing her job so I'm happy I'm just gonna close these things back up close these girls back up and then we'll move on to the next one so there's absolutely no frames drawn out in the second box and uh, because it's getting colder um, I've decided just to take the top box off and leave everybody just in the in the bottom deep and let them draw out the the couple of empty frames that are in there uh, they've got their sugar water so you can see they weren't too happy with me going into it um, can't blame them if somebody came into my house I wouldn't be too happy either especially if they started rearranging my furniture so <laughs> all right so I'm gonna head over here to number three now and we'll see what those girls look like so hive three looks like it's anything but in trouble um, it looks like they've got they haven't touched their super there's nothing has been drawn up in the super box it's still sitting empty but that's fine I kind of expected all that because these are my swarms okay but if you can look down inside you can see that they are honey bound in this box I can see everything is all pulled out it's full of honey that I can see on the top um, we'll take a closer look got to be careful because they seem to draw it out more on one than they do on another making it really thick on one frame and then almost nothing on the next so let's see what we got here so this frame looks like it doesn't have really anything on it okay so as you can see they pulled out a little bit it's kind of low does have honey in it you know I heard that there was no okay, I'm gonna lay you girls down I heard that there was no flow going on right now and that I need to feed 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 but and for hive number one yeah I agree with that but you know what for this hive right here though this has been really strong since the very beginning um, wow that is heavy and you can see it's just loaded loaded with honey wow look at that that entire frame let me see if I could turn this around get the light on it properly without hurting anybody 
All right, girls. How am I going to do this? Set you down for just a second. All right. So I've turned it around. The entire frame is nothing but loaded honey. Completely capped. The other side's exactly the same way. You can see how it's down in there the same. They're starting to pull it out. Okay, let me put this one back. Nice and easy. Lots of honey, lots, lots, lots of honey. It's the box below that I really want to take a look at, but we're going to take a look at a couple up top here. Whoa, another heavy one. Oh, yeah, see, it's all liquid gold. It's uncapped, but it is loaded. So I know there's no queen up top here because she doesn't feed herself. So she's just got her workers just doing what they, they do best, and that is filling this stuff up. So that's really good. So we'll be back in a minute with the bottom box. All right, before I go down to the bottom, um, I went ahead and I did a really quick check on all of these frames. And every single frame is packed full of, of honey. Um, over half of it is capped and it's ready to go. And they're working on the rest of it. I only have one frame, the one that you saw earlier in the video, that they're just starting to pull comb on it. So I put the queen excluder back on. I'm taking the super right now and I'm putting it back on. That way they can just keep doing what they want to do. I'm going to go down into the bottom box now. Um, I don't see where I actually need to give them any sugar water. These girls right here are doing fantastic. They've always been a really strong hive. And um, I've actually taken uh, babies from two of these now, uh, uh, from this box, um, freshly laid eggs and brood. And I've stuck them in other boxes. And they've produced other queens, you know, for the other boxes. That's where number one got its box. It got it from number three. And... Um, so you saw that they're laying eggs in there. So all they have to do now is just start pulling comb and, and getting their honey and taking that sugar water. So hopefully they'll do good using this one right here. So I've been really, really happy with this particular swarm. Um, I can't remember right off. I'll have to check my old videos to see whether I had a combine on this one. I think I remember combining uh, number two with number three. But uh, I've been really happy with these. So let's go check that bottom out real fast. All right. I'm down in the, the second box. Uh, my bottom deep. I picked this. I picked this one up to put it up on top. I put it up there. And my God, that thing was heavy. Uh, yeah, we're talking 80, 90 pounds. And I'm not a weak guy. But, yeah, that was a struggle to... Uh, <laughs> put that up there as I look down here I can see that there's honey let's see where's my thing I can see that there's honey all along the line here um, I'm gonna start over here real fast I can see they've got drawn comb I can see that they've got drawn comb here uh, you know what I really don't think I need to get down inside of there I just want to see if they've got brood um, and they're pulling out so much, bringing in so much honey that I think they're doing right. Here, let me let me uh, pull one of these things out and then we'll take a quick. So, this is three frames in on the bottom. And you can see the whole thing is just loaded. Load it, load it, load it. A few empty cells that are sitting right there. You can see that they've got they've got brood inside of it. Most of this is already covered. Um, flip it over to the other side. It's the same thing. Brood, honey. So it's it's fantastic. So these girls right here are what I thought beekeeping was going to be all about. And I am so happy 
Um, it hasn't cost me anything but, say, some gas to be a swarm chaser. And the one extraction that I did, though, I didn't charge very much for it. It was enough that it even paid for my gas for all the other, for all the, all the swarms that I went after. Um, so I'm not going to go any deeper into this one. As you can see, this hive is absolutely thriving. And I'm not sure if I should, I, I'm not going to feed them, but I'm wondering if I should stick, you know, another deep like I've got here on it. And I figured if they're going to draw more comb, why not do it on a deep where I could use it for next year as opposed to doing it on a super where, you know, they can do that come spring. So I'm going to close these girls up right now. Hive 3 is wonderful. We're getting ready to go into high four. So I've opened up high four, and as you can see, I've already stuck some of my honey, wa uh, 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 my sugar water inside of it. Um, here's a frame, and the two, uh, three outside frames. They're starting to pull some comb on it. You can see that they've had uh, babies hatch out of this already. There's um, a couple of girls that are cleaning out the insides. It looks like. So let's take a quick look in here, and then we're going to drop down to the bottom to see how they're doing down there. Now I can see that they're starting to fill in a little bit of honey. Nothing on that side. That's okay. I'm not, I'm not upset about that, because as soon as I get down to the bottom, I'm hoping it's going to be even better. Okay. At least they're, doing, they're still doing their jobs. They're pulling in honey. Okay, so I still have a nectar flow going on here. Either that or, um, yeah, see, they're still pulling honey. So, uh, 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 comb. So they're going to, um, i got a lot of empty frames up here. So I'll put, I'm going to put all this back, and then I'm going to jump into the bottom box real fast. And uh, let's see here, let's get these girls off. That's the thing about using the inside ones, it's that uh, it, it takes away from the comb that you have for them to build on, the frames that they have to build on. They can't build comb that way. Um, you lose two with these inside filters. I have uh, a top feeder, and I'll probably get into that. I actually have two top feeders. They are, let's see, they're sitting back there on top of number nine. And I'll probably get into those later on. Oh, no, there they are. I'm sorry. They're right there on that stack right there. Um, probably use those a little bit later on when I have to start really putting some syrup on some of them. Number one will definitely get a, a top one. And maybe this one. So let me pause this and we'll get down lower. All right. I have removed the first frame, which is sitting down there in between my two. And I've looked at these, and they've got, they've got capped honey, they've got uncapped honey, and they've got brood. So we're going to go to number four. Oop, <laughs> they didn't like that. Go to number four, and we're going to take a look at that. And, yeah, a little heavier. So as you can see, i got a lot of capped brood. Let's see if I can see any new babies get some sunlight inside of there I do I see some nice small ones on the bottom um, showing that I've got a queen in there I don't know if you guys can see it let me check the back side and patterns a little bit more spotty but you know what? There's a lot of new babies in there, so I'm not going to worry about it. So that's all I wanted to see. So we're going to pop these girls back down inside. And uh, though it's not hive number three, it is doing fantastic. And I'm going to let them keep doing what they're doing because um, they have their own rhythm. And it's their nation. Uh, Janet Jackson, uh, Rhythm Nation. Okay. So they're doing really good, so I'm going to close them back up. They've got some sugar water that's going to aid them. And get out of there, yellow jacket. 
it's going to aid them and uh, I got to close this back up real fast get the yellow jackets out of there so I think they're going to be fine and I'll just keep an eye on them and I'll come back out here in a, um, periodically probably next week now and, and I'll check the the sugar water and I'll change those two. so we're heading into number five which is actually my fourth hive because as I said earlier number two is empty so we will set that right there and let's pop this top real fast take a quick look inside um, now you can see that the food that I gave them they've still got some and what was it one still had some but number three and number four they ate both of theirs so I need to replace theirs but these girls are working on it um, I can see some comb already which is a good thing this is this is the box that came from that tree swarm the one that we found on the bottom of that tree so they're, they're pulling comb some of it's dark so that shows that they've been up into the second box the queen's been up in the second box and she's been she's obviously laid some eggs up in there there's some um, pollen Oh, wait a minute. Is that what I saw before? Let me make sure. No, that's pollen there, not eggs. So let's take a quick let's take a quick gander at something in the middle. Come on. I tell you the propolis that these girls can make is amazing. So sticky and yeah, completely empty. They haven't touched anything on that one. So I think I'm going to put some sugar water in here. Here they've got comb that's pulled, but I don't see any, I don't see any honey. All right. So we'll do that. We will pop this frame out. Pop that frame out. Stick that over here with that one. And we're going to have to pull another frame out of here. Let's see. Hopefully there's another one that doesn't have comb on it yet. Yeah, that one right there. So we'll pull that out. And we will slide all these over. Slide all those over. Put the feed back. Open this up. Oh, grab some sugar water slide that sucker right down up inside of there there we go and slide all these back I wish I can get another frame in there and make things so much nicer alright I'm gonna go down to the bottom box and we'll take a look at that one. So, I've pulled one frame, set it over the side. It's got it's got some comb pulled on it. This has got some comb pulled on it. Um, this one shows that they definitely had something going on in there. My guess would be that it was brewed. Looking at the darkness, I think this got switched around last time I was in here. But what I want right now is brood any brood will show me that they're all right I went ahead and stuck the uh, sugar water in the top to help these girls out if I don't find any brood oh now I am but so look at that we got a queen cell and it's completely empty but I don't like it when I see my brood looking like this all popped up shows that there's a lot of males makes me wonder truly if um, there's a laying female in here a laying worker always scares me you know you hear these horror stories for those of you who follow bees you know that once you get them in there you can't get them out and you have to go take them and dump them elsewhere. 
but they've got some honey not enough to get them through winter mind you but they've got some honey so we'll keep them fed and what I'll do is at the very least I think I might take oh, now this one has got a lot of stuff but there is also a lot of drones in here As you can see it there's a lot lot of drones lot of males big hunking things let's take a look at the other side yeah we've got more males than I've got anything else so we've got a laying worker in here and so I'm thinking I'm gonna take number one I'm gonna take number four and I'm gonna combine these two together I've done a number of combines already and as I said this year is the experiment I'm good with that you can see they're pulling honey or, uh, uh, yeah they're, they're bringing nectar in and they're making honey see a couple of drones but that one frame was just full of drones and it looks like the drones are just eating them out um, I don't really see a queen so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get a hold of my mentor I'm gonna ask him to come over here and take a look at number one number one and number four get his opinion on combining them I'm pretty sure he's gonna say yes because yeah all I see are more males than anything else and that's just not good for any population if I've got more males than I've got <clears throat> female workers all right so let me close this up real fast okay so yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take number five here and I'm gonna take number one and I'm gonna combine the two and I'll talk to my mentor to see what he thinks about all the drones that I've got in number five um, his eyes a little bit more keen than mine is um, and he knows a lot more than I do this is why we have mentors I try not to bother him too much um, for the most part this is my first year it's all experimental I'm learning a lot and um, teaching myself a lot um, I've got some scouts that are interested so I've been you know kind of passing on the little bit of knowledge that I've got to them uh, luckily I own a lot of books and I read all the books and so for anybody who's out there who's getting into all this um, the best advice that I can give you is you know read as many books as you can go online and look at the articles that are on there go online and look at YouTube there's a lot of videos you know first year guys um, they don't always come back and tell you what they've done the next year and how everything worked out but I will I'm gonna keep this going through the winter and I'll go into next spring when uh, the new swarm season starts and we're gonna make sure that you guys are you know learning everything that I'm learning um, if you've got a local uh, B chapter B club that's in your area then I suggest that you join it and there's a lot of wonderful people in there um, other people who are just starting out maybe have the same questions that you do and then you have a lot of the uh, uh, the old timers the veterans the people who have got more experience than you know most of us and uh, they're I find one thing about it is that like 99% of beekeepers are just as helpful as could be they they want to share their knowledge they want to uh, make sure that this this these wonderful bee populations are ever growing and that we can start cutting our losses more and more um, it's important to the entire world so um, the local Isaac Walton League uh, Isaac yeah Isaac Walton League they are looking to put uh, uh, an apiary up there and so I think that I'm going to be able to build an apiary up there I've got a local church that has a community garden and they want some beehives out there so I'm looking at doing you know putting some out there and um, I met a wonderful lady where I got some fence from who would like some beehives put up at her place and a friend of mine wants me to put one or two at his house so I've got some out apiaries um, that I'm looking to start up next spring so hopefully 
there's going to be a lot of swarms next year, um, and we'll keep going. So I've had eight swarms this year and one extraction, and it looks like I might end up with three hives. But you know what? This is a win for me. Even if I just ended up with just one really good hive, I think that I'm doing good. But it looks like I'm going to be going into winter with at least three hives. So in my book, this is a win. So until we talk again, this is Thurman from Burnley Farm Apiary. Y'all take care.